This video describes a LoomTools Luminaire Manager. The mandatory first step towards performing real point-by-point -point lighting calculations in your Revit project. Opening Luminaire Manager, you'll see a list of Luminaire family types in the left side of the dialog. By default, only types with instances placed in the drawing will appear. You can show unused types that are loaded in the Revit project by selecting the Show Unused button in the upper left corner of the dialog or the checkbox in the lower left corner of the dialog. The Instances tab will show a list of all instances of each Luminaire type in the project. This is mostly useful for exposing information relative to nested sources. Upon first inspection, you may notice a red X adjacent to some types followed by a description of the light source, spot in this case. You will also see a small help icon which can provide a hint as to how you might resolve the issue. Types with fictitious sources, such as spot, spherical, or hemispherical, require a quick family editing session to change the source type to photometric web. This is an easy step in the Revit family editor. Once the source type is set to photometric web, it is easy to assign an IES file to the type in Luminar Manager. Simply select the family type, then click on the folder icon in the upper right corner of the dialog to use Windows Explorer to find an IES file anywhere on your system. Or click on the Instabase icon to select from thousands of IES files provided by many of the lighting industry's product manufacturers. Be sure to watch our separate video on using the Instabase with Illum tools. Once the IES file has been selected, you will see the photometric icon and the IES file name along with a number of instances placed in the project. The right side of the dialog provides a graphical view of the family geometry with the photometric distribution and the luminous area shown in green. Select the Light Source tab to see how you can control the visibility of these items. You can also use the various toolbar controls to modify this view. Right now we're using the Orbit command. The luminous area is obtained from the IES file. If it does not align with the family geometry, you may need to rotate the light source in the Revit Family Editor. Illum Tools allows you to edit the luminous area using the Modified column. However, this is best done when in consultation with the manufacturer. A polar plot of luminous intensity in Candela is also available. You can change the display to show the various vertical planes in blue, and the cones in red. If you're not familiar with how to read this graph, be sure to watch our video on YouTube titled Understanding Polar Curves of Luminous Intensity. Select the Luminous Area and Color tab to see the settings for light source color. These are expressed either in color temperature in degrees Kelvin or source color such as a filter or a specific colored LED. Since many family types are given a color temperature in Revit by default, which is not typically accurate, this feature is disabled in the Illum tool settings. When disabled, all sources are visualized as white. To enable this feature for visualization, go to Settings and enable color temperature. You may actually be able to find the actual color temperature of the source in the description from the IES file. This is shown on the Description tab, right here, 3000K. When using the setting for Color Filter or specific LED color, Illum Tools will derate the output as if it was a filter or a gel. We'll assign a blue LED color. RGB numbers here. The output is 29%. That assumes a filter of that RGB equivalent. To override this duration, check the box and enter the appropriate factor. 
If the photometric file is specific to a certain LED color, the factor is typically 1. Best to consult the manufacturer if in doubt. The luminous area display mode will control how the luminous area of the fixture is seen in the Illum tool's visualization. The default setting is materials. This can be changed in Illum tool settings. But using this setting, you must assign the specific material used in the family for the luminous area as luminous. This is handled in Illum tool's materials mapping dialog. Here's the material. We have the checkbox for luminous currently selected. If in doubt of the material used for the luminous portion of the luminaire, you can usually figure it out in the Revit Family Editor. This setting is best for odd-shaped luminous areas. Other settings are luminous shape from the Illum Tools Size and Shape tab and emit shape from the Revit Family Parameter. The Emergency tab contains settings relative to emergency lighting. This is covered in another video. Finally, let's look at the Definition tab. This is visible when you initially open the dialog. This tab pulls information from the IES file in the right column and allows some of that information to be edited in the left column. Specifically, you can prorate lamp count and lumens per lamp for relative photometry. That's typically HID, fluorescent, and incandescent sources. The proration factor is supplied to allow you to factor LED photometry, which is tested by absolute method. The luminar watts field is also editable, as is the ability to add a light loss factor. Returning to look at our family types list one last time, you may find luminaires designated as no source. These types may have a nested source, which can be seen from the Instances tab, and we can see the source in the photometric web illustration. This situation can be complicated. Illum Tools generally supports nested sources, but this discussion is beyond the scope of this basic video, as there are several potential outcomes. And that's the basics of Luminaire Manager. Your attention in this area is obviously a critical step toward accurate lighting calculations. If you are concerned with the proper application of any specific lighting product and its photometry, do not hesitate to consult Lighting Analyst's Customer Care Department.